Now, one of the most interesting news topics that I want to discuss here is CD Projekt Red and the fact that they recently put out a job listing and um, it looks like they're working on another IP. You know, and, and they just went through what they went through with Cyberpunk 2077 and rightfully so. They got a lot of shit for that game. The amount of hype and what you got, whether you like it or not, the game didn't live up to the hype. Take it from me, I beat the game over, I would say 130 hours into the game. Did the complete story. I wanna say I did the majority of the side missions had several different kind of relationships, dealt with all the glitches, and even still booted up the game time and time again to experience the game. Again, the story was a pretty decent story. I can dig it. I can get behind it. I wouldn't be surprised that that story isn't turned into a movie. And um, it, it would it would make for a pretty good movie. But my thing is now with with the history that they have. And I'm not talking about The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt because let's not front and keep it real here. The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt even had issues with it when that even came out. They patched that through. It wasn't as bad as Project CD Project Red's uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And they're still patching that through. And we don't even know when that's going to be uh, completely dealt with as far as correcting that game and righting the wrong in removing that, that horrible taste that was left in consumers' mouth. They got a lot of pre-orders, y'all, from that game. And if we're going to speak honestly and fair here, they got a lot of money before that game was even out. Upfront money. And I think it wasn't deserved. And I think gamers now, if you're smart, if you're not one of them Gen Z motherfuckers, if you're smart, you're not going to spend your money on a game that you haven't seen playing right you see how you know what they did with what horizon forbidden west they showed you gameplay what you're going to actually be doing what the shit look like running in real engine real time if the developer isn't giving you any kind of experience like that if developers are giving you what you saw with ratchet and clank a couple of weeks ago a real deep dive into the actual game running live don't pre-order that and you can burn me once you're not gonna burn me twice i don't see to be quite honest guys and, and maybe i may be a, a bit pessimistic here i don't see cyberpunk 2077 far as them uh, CD Projekt Red fixing everything and, and just smoothing that game out to the way it need to be smoothed out. How Hollow Game, Hello Games did um, No Man's Sky. I don't see them supporting that game like that. They already moved on to their new IP, and, and I don't even know what the hell their new IP is going to be. Is it going to be The Witcher Four? Possibly. Who knows? More likely than not, their next IP ain't coming out in the next five to six years. We ain't seeing that shit. Maybe to the, the, the middle generation of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So don't look forward to that game anytime soon. But my thing is, at the end of the day, do you trust CD Projekt Red? Allegedly, they're supposed to be losing money now because they got all this negative publicity. And, and again, I, as a consumer, as a gamer, I don't care. I don't feel bad. You put out inferior product. You stained, you, you know, your legacy. And not that you can't write the ship, but you got to deal with this storm. You flow your plane into this storm here. And, and, and for the life of me, I just don't get why gamers and gaming companies and these large platforms come out here and try to make every excuse in the book to defend these guys and for, for people not to have a reason why they should have an issue with them. No, they laid their egg in the wrong nest and now they got to deal with it. Every other company got to deal with it. Just because you love CD Projekt Red or you love a particular industry or love a particular company or game and they come out and lay a goose egg, we can't be skeptical about their next follow-up? Well, that's not how this works here. What kind of gamer are you? 
I'm consumer first. I'm not industry first. I'm not in the industry. I'm a gamer that covers gaming on YouTube. I don't get nothing shipped to me for free. And maybe if I get something shipped to me for free, maybe we can talk. But until then, I'm going to call it as I see it. I'm going to call it right down the line. And that's being 100 and honest here. Unbought opinion. Unbiased opinion. And I think that it's important that we hold these companies to the fire. And we make sure we hold them accountable. I don't want to play another half, half completed game that feels like it needed another two years to be completed. And then you rush and you put it out and you say it's a done game. You wouldn't put it out if it wasn't ready. I, I don't believe any company that says that. Sorry. And it's unfortunate that CD Projekt Red ruined that grace period or that grace that a lot of you companies might have been afforded prior to Cyberpunk 2077 coming out. But again, that's not my problem to worry about. They got a proven show now. They're like a brand new independent company back on the market now. Hell, we gave Hollow Games so much shit with No Man's Skies. At least I did. I, I know I did. I was a day one um, purchaser of that game. That game had hype to hell. They was hyping that game in hell. And I was hyping it too. Everything they were saying you're going to do in that game, I was like, yeah, buddy, this is going to be the game for me. Same thing with Destiny. They gave Bungie hell when Destiny first came out. And I bought that too. Actually, I remember I bought that for, I bought a copy for myself. And I also bought a copy for another YouTuber that was uh, a friend of mine. And, you know, he didn't have the resources to get it. And I bought myself a copy and I bought him a copy. And I also was playing the demo up until that point. And then I got that bad boy home, booted it up, put it in, loaded it up, started the game out. That shit started off just how the demo started off. I said, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> I said, y'all basically had us playing the game in the goddamn demo mode, and we just didn't even know it. So I'll be damned if I, if, I, if I sit here and give a company that burned me once already some pre-ordered dollars, some pre-ordered money that I had to work hard for. And then when I give them the money, they give me a product that's half done and then tell me just hold on, you know, I, I'll fix it in a couple of months. That's like you going to McDonald's, ordering you a double cheeseburger with pickles and cheese and you get the burger. It has no pickles. It has no cheese. And they're like, yo, just just park in the front we'll, we'll come out with the cheese and we'll come out with the pickles in a second <laughs> who, who, who gonna who gonna show up there again when they hungry looking for a burger not me so I just don't get how these companies just get to come out here and cap and say whatever they want and nobody gets to question them Nobody gets to question them. Like, like I mean, we got these companies that we look up to, these 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 industry companies and industry platforms on YouTube that have been around for ages now. And they rotate these different talking heads in and out whenever they want. And they don't speak honestly and true. And regardless of what the company does, they don't address it with any real seriousness. They try to wait to they always find a way to justify whatever the company has done. And you the consumer, you shouldn't have an issue with it. It's the same issue that I have with these type of companies saying, well, you shouldn't have an issue with Sony games, or at least a couple of their single player story games now being able to be played on PC. Like you shouldn't feel that those games should be exclusive. To the Sony platform Like you didn't invest Your goddamn money Your time and effort To earning that money At your job Then going to buy the console To support that platform Buying the games for it Only to find out You allowing that game To be played On another platform By other people Who have not contributed Into that ecosystem As much as you have That don't make no sense to me That don't make no sense to me Not one bit But people really expect You to do that and I just cannot get behind that. I just don't respect it. But a lot of people want to want to be a part of the industry, want to be in the in crowd, 
you know, want to be an influencer. And I understand, you know, sometimes you got to take one for the team. Sometimes you got to just roll with the punches. And I, and I can't roll with the punches. That's the problem with, with, with me. I'm always one that's going to speak up and tell you how it is and tell you the truth. Old games still being played on new consoles. How does that work, Sway? Somebody got to make that work for me still. Are we content with that? Are we going to content with the lies that we continuously hear from Sony as it continuously lies to his fans about generations? Like Ratchet and Clank is supposed to hold us over? Like, come on, guys. I mean, it's just getting to the point where, you know, whether it's a timed exclusive, whether it's an exclusive, if it's on the platform, it should remain on the platform, period. That's just how I personally feel. I don't want to hear any goddamn PS4, PS5 differences and comparisons to next-gen games. Like, that's just supposed to mean something to me. Like, you, they, they did a comparison of what um, possibly Horizon um, Forbidden West may look like on a PS4 and a PS5. So what is that supposed to do for somebody that got a PS5 and what that's supposed to do for somebody that got a PS4? You can't tell the difference on YouTube what the differences really are. The frames per second. The quality. You got to see that shit on a 4K rendered TV that can support 60 frames per second. So in all reality, we're never going to really see the full potential of these games on a goddamn tablet, on a phone, and especially on YouTube because it compresses everything. So you're not really actually seeing anything until you go home and play it yourself. And I think at the end of the day, man, we just got to move away from what, what doesn't matter and move away toward, move towards what matters. What matters is the game. What matters is that the consumers are content. What matters is that these developers and companies deliver on what they promise. Period. Nothing less. Don't accept anything less. You don't have to accept anything less. Whatever they say they're going to do, hold them accountable to doing this shit. And if they don't do it, call them out on it. Period like that. You don't got to go on the DMs and disrespect them and tell them you wish they get raped or beaten or slaughtered or killed. You don't got to do any of that. Just do what I just told you to do. Hold them accountable. And if they don't perform, get your refund back. And just don't support the company anymore. They're straighten up and they fly right. Once you start giving your money to a company that gives a damn. That's just how it works. And I wish more people thought like that.